Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product. You can see this is King Kong AG8 Smart Controller. And this controller mainly for IR transmit. Uh, some years ago, we have released King Kong AG Smart Controller that used for wireless, it's Wi-Fi version. But this time, that used by the Ethernet and the Wi-Fi work at the same time. And also we have you update the ESP32-S3 module for this controller CPU. Okay, in this video, I will show you this hardware details and how it works with the Home Assistant. And mainly, it is used for long distance cable for the IR transmit. Okay, let's begin. And then let's back to my computer. You can see that is the age 8 uh, smart controller. And uh, this is the diagram, uh, you can see support IS232, IS485, and the G free GPIO to use. And this time we have used ESP32S3. And this is IR tube, you can extend for long distance. And you will see that can uh, connect the IR tube directly. But uh, it usually will use by the cable for extend. You can see uh, this is uh, 12 meter, the cable uh, work well. And also, I have tested with the 300C85 network cable. Also, it works well. Uh, later, I will show you uh, how it works in Home Assistant by ESP Home. And this will have installed the Wi-Fi antenna and installed on Dingreal. And also, you can see there are some different uh, information. You can see the schematic. You can click so that you can see the schematic. Uh, we have designed this one, you can see a uh, schematic also is open source, uh, you can find any pin defined on our form and also you can see that is the PCB design, uh, that is 3D mode, you can see, uh, so this is a two layer PCB design and for this part and also you can see this ESP32 pin defined, you can click, uh, so that will list uh, which a GPL used for IR sender and for IR receiver and for every different uh, hardware resource pin defined and the back and also you can see the config YAML file we have prepared for ESP home so you can see just click and you will see uh, the ESP home YAML code and this demo for country Apple TV uh, later I will show you how to country Apple TV and this ESP home uh, note that can use full turbo at the same time. You can see because we have used the ESP32 S3. So the channel is four channel. We have designed eight channel for IR turbo. And maybe you will write your own Arduino code. And also we will design our KCS firmware for this H8 so that can use eight channel for IR send. Okay, let's back to our web page. And you can see, uh, this is a diagram at, at here. And you can see this one, that is King Kong AG. And this is AG8. So because we named AG8 that have eight turbo, eight IR turbo. So you can see, this also have seven IR turbo, but that use thin GPIO for ESP32, just use the one GPIO because sometimes you want maybe your house, uh, some air conditioning or some your electronic device use one brand. Uh, so if you send a signal, all air conditioning will on in different room. So this solution and this product, you can define different GPIO for different turbo. So, so for example, uh, one GPIO for this one and another GPIO for this one. So you can define different GPL for IR Turbo. And also you can see this time we have updated the CPU use ESP32 S3. And this is large memory, N16R8. Uh, so that will have PS RAM. And this is also used by ESP32, but without PS RAM. So the hardware we have update, but we just remove this 433 MHz RF receiver module and mainly used by the Ethernet and mainly by the wear solution. So you can use this cable for extent. Okay, let's look at the hardware details in PCB design. Okay, let's look at this is the H8. Uh, it's the brick aluminum uh, cover and you can see also support installed on the 
just like this uh, you can install this board to your power distribution box very easily and we can see uh, this Wi-Fi antenna SMA interface and the Ethernet and uh, this terminal also is removable so you will easy to connect with your one okay let's look at the PCB inside and you can see uh, this is H8 uh, PCB inside of this box and let's look at this in front uh, the PCB design and you can see uh, this time we have used the ESP32 S3 module and this W5500 Ethernet chip and this Ethernet and the USB USB-C interface and the IR receiver and this is power circuit and this is IS232 and IS485 circuit and this is the in front of the side and this is back uh, back side and this we have designed long distance for extend the IR turbo this is long distance circuit so you can let your extend cable uh, very long okay this is the PCB inside of the box and now we will test it uh, working in home assistant by ESP home and the country Apple TV and you can see this Apple TV I will send an IR signal and uh, test the long distance cable for country this Apple TV because this Apple TV is a uh, IR remote uh, you can see it's an uh, IR remote and I will use this King Kong Server 16 uh, that is a Raspberry Pi 4 controller I have installed the Home Assistant and this one I also use the Ethernet I prefer Ethernet because it's stable and I will connect IR Turbo you can see I will connect with this IR Turbo uh, first I will test with the IR Turbo connected directly and later I will show you for long distance cable we have designed this for removable socket so you can see it's very easy I just uh, remove it and uh, plug in this I have connected with the power line this support DC 9 to 24 volt so I will use 12 volt for testing and also you can remove this one and connect with it so this one you can see communication with the Ethernet uh, with the Raspberry Pi and this will send the IR signal to control this Apple TV so I will put it here later I will show you how it works with the cable and now you can see this is my computer running the home assistant uh, because I have already added this age 8 and create three buttons to send different IR signals and this is age 8 and this is uh, TV and this is Apple TV I have connect with the King Kong Lodge so I can use this IR remote uh, to control this Apple TV uh, so I can you can see I can control left and right and up and down by this IR remote and now I will use this H8 to send the signal to control this left right up and down okay let's back to my computer and you can see uh, this is our home assistant dashboard and I can create this four button you can see in ESP home and the configure YAML file edit and I can already create uh, this different I uh, send one send two send three send four with a different GPIO so that can send a different signal because I have used Apple TV so I have found this Apple TV code I uh, code you can see that have for up and for down and for left and for right uh, this is for testing so I just copy this code you can see I just copy this code and paste in home assistant at here you can see the date I just copy the date this is a different IR code so I have create this four channel uh, send one send two send three send four so you can see in home assistant dashboard uh, that will have these four buttons now I can 
I have connected with the IR turbo for this send one, just the first channel. And now you can see I will use this one. Send one. I can click this. I use my computer to country it. You can see. You can see. Turn left. I uh, country it again. And you can see, turn left. So this time, this IR turb have sent the signal to Apple TV. Uh, such as I can click uh, turn, turn right. But I can click this Home Assistant in dashboard. You can see, turn left. OK, they say turn left. So this can work uh, without any problem. And now I will use this. We will use this uh, the second terminal for user cable to extend this IR turbo. And uh, you can see, I will use this one, this cable. I have connected uh, IR turbo. You can see this IR turbo. Uh, because this cable I found have four coin, four cables. I just use this two cable, just positive and negative. So you can see uh, this one, this one also have two cable. So I will connect it here, just connect with it uh, the second positive and negative, just the red and the black at this one. And this this cable about uh, 12 meters, I have test 12 meters. Now I will power off. And just only connect this to one at here. Uh, this is the second positive and the second negative. So you can see, I connect it here, uh, just that here, very easy. So I fix it. Okay, I just use this two cable, uh, this two cable I'm not used. Let's power on again. I will power on. And now we also use this IR turb and in front of this Apple TV. I can put it here. Just put it here. And now you can see uh, the sec second channel at here. Uh, put it in front of Apple TV. We will try to control this Apple TV. And I back to Apple TV home page. And you can see I will use this second. The second is different GPL. So I will use this one. Uh, this one. So you can see I will use the computer to send a signal. You can see this time it turned right. I can click again. Do you see this sound? I turn right, left. So I can control this one, the sec first one, uh, this first one, you can see, this turn left, and the click, turn left, and the right, the second, right, right, okay, this is okay, no problem. So you can see, I have extended for 12 meters, this is 12 meters. And next, I will connect a C85 network cable. Okay, you can see uh, this is C85 cable. It's a very long distance. Uh, we can put this Apple TV at here. And you will see uh, this one. I also have connect with a IR turbo. So this have two cable. But this time you can see 300 meters. And at here, uh, I will connect this two cable. Just this two cable. And with H8. Because it's long distance cable, so I will test the resist of this cable. So you, you can see uh, in this cable, if I test this uh, green, you can see if I test with the green. And this green, uh, this almost uh, 59, just, it's almost uh, 58 ohm. 
And because I will use these two cables, so that will be about 100 ohm. So this, this is the resistance of your cable. You can choose a cable for high quality, so that can have a low resistance. Okay, I will connect it. I will power off for my controller and this time and also connect with this the third uh, third positive and negative okay now you can see this is the third uh, turbo cable and this is the first uh, but the ESP home you can see the ESP32 S3 that support four channel work at the same time but maybe in future our KCS firmware and the Arduino source code will support eight channel because you can switch uh, switch uh, the input uh, for GPIO. Okay, let's power on and test it. And you can see uh, that is her C85 network cable, and you can see this is 300 meter. It's new, new cable, 300 meter. And you can see uh, this one, <laughs> so much long distance and the shortest and the middle distance and the longest distance is here. So I will control the Apple TV again. So I back to my home page, Apple TV, and let's in the center. And look at uh, this three, that is long distance cable. So this time you can see, I can ready to control this button, send IR3, click. And you can see uh, this is down. I can use this uh, up. And you can see I'm ready to control this send three. So this button is controlling the third IR turb. So you can see one, two, three. You can see that icon is down. So it's working. So it have sent the IR signal from this cable. Uh, so watch LAN. So this cable is working. And you can see I can click again. And you can see the screen is down. And I click again. So the screen is down. And I click again. Screen is down. And this time I change to control this uh, first one. The first button you can see. Click left. Left. So this is working. And the second, the second button. And you can see I can click. So right. Click again. So turn right. So this is working uh, with this three different IR turbo. So this time you can see I can use this three turbo output terminal and connect with this this one and this one and this the short, shortest one. So this all can work well. Uh, so that you can use this way and let this air turbo and insert to your air conditioning. So sometimes uh, if you have used this air conditioning, if you have this IR function, uh, you can so insert this air turbo, air turbo to your air condition inside because sometimes we will install the air reserve in this machine. So you can install this air turbo and use that line and insert to your wall and insert to this uh, air condition. So that can use home assistant or software to control your air condition. So this is age eight uh, how to send IR signal for long distance and maybe we'll use for, for your IoT project. Okay, thanks for watching.